One is everyone's favorite. Other is on the way to become everyone's favorite. One welcomes immigrants with open arms. The other is inviting immigrants to consider it. One offers value for money education. The other free education. One is slowly emerging as powerhouse of North America. The other is the biggest economy in the EU. Have you guessed the countries yet? Canada and Germany. So now the question comes which one to choose. Let us compare both straight away. But before we start, why not like this video and subscribe to the channel? If this video gets 500 likes, I will make a video on step-by-step -step process to apply to German universities. It's a done deal. Factor number one, the tuition fee. Talking about tuition fee, we all know in Canada, the average fee varies between 15 to $30,000 per annum or eight to 16 lakh rupees, depending on the level of the program, institution and subject. Germany's public universities will only charge 150 to 300 euros administrative charges, making the country ideal for those who are on a budget. But do know that MBAs in Germany and private institutions will be expensive. Germany ticks all the right boxes here. Factor number two, your living costs. So to make it easy, let us compare three cities from each of the two countries. So as per Numbio, if you're spending 6,900 Canadian dollars in Toronto per month, to maintain a similar lifestyle in Berlin, you will need $5,600. In $7,100 you will spend in Vancouver, you will need $6,400 in Munich. And for $5,700 in Montreal, you will need $5,400 in Stuttgart. We can clearly see that Germany is a bit cheaper in terms of city living. Another tick for Germany. Factor number three, part-time jobs. In Germany, there are certain rules to be followed. For example, you're allowed to work for a total of 120 full or 240 half days in a year as a student. Plus, language can be a barrier sometimes. In Canada, things are pretty easy that way. 20 hours during term time, 40 hours during vacations. And on campus, you can work longer. Canada ticks all the right boxes here. Number four, scholarships. Almost free education and then some scholarships thrown in that may pay your living expenses as well? Is that a dream? No, it's Germany. Canada, on the other hand, does offer quite a few scholarships but not as generous. Germany has my vote here. Factor number five, post-study work visas. 18 months in Germany and in Canada, one to three years depending on the course you choose. Canada definitely has an edge here because of generous post-study work visa duration which allows students more time to stay and gain experience, look for a job and eventually settle down. Talking about settling down, let us talk about permanent residency. So it is not impossible to settle down in Germany and get a permanent resident permit but hands down Canada has an edge here. The country has dedicated pathways to allow students to become permanent residents once they get a job and many Canadian provinces also offer nomination programs, making the process much more easier. So which one will you choose? Well, it will depend on a variety of factors. Germany is definitely more affordable and Canada isn't bad either if we compare it to other English-speaking countries. Let me know your reasons in the comments below. Planning to study abroad can be a bit tricky, but let us make things way easy for you. Sign up for Leap Scholars free study abroad masterclasses using the link in the description.